Welcome to Crypto Wise. A couple of wise guys talking crypto. Hello, Crypto Wisers. Welcome back to the channel once again. My name is Milton and I will be your captain for this episode. We just launched the channel last week and the response has been incredible. If you're new to the channel, you should check out all our last videos for sure. But I definitely recommend checking out both our last video, which was on crypto.com. Is this the end of crypto.com? And also a fun little video we did crypto cruise ship the crypto true crime story this was an amazing story i stumbled on the kind of story you only find in crypto and as always don't be shy find us on twitter crypto wise daily we always love talking crypto with other crypto fanatics all right today is the day that you have been waiting for because i'm finally going to be talking altcoins well one altcoin specifically we're going to do a deep dive into mantra DAO. Mantra DAO is a weird little project and it has gotten a lot of hype and yet the price of the OM token has not done well so far. So we're going to talk about all of it and I'm going to let you know if Uncle Milty recommends buying Mantra DAO. All right, before I jump in, just take one hot second to subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that notification button. That will alert you right when we post a new video and some of these videos you're definitely going to want to watch right away before anyone else. Okay, Let's talk Mantra DAO. So what exactly is Mantra DAO? Mantra DAO is a community governed DeFi platform focusing on staking, lending, and governance. So what the heck does Mantra DAO mean? Where did they get this name? Well, it's actually kind of a clever name that doesn't really mean anything. We know that Mantra is a word from Buddhism and it means a word or sound repeated to aid concentration in meditation. And they've kind of built their brand around these Buddhist ideals. And Tao, we know, is also a word from Chinese philosophy, so they normally spelt with a T. And so they're playing on this idea of the word Tao because Tao also means a decentralized autonomous organization in crypto. That's really what we're talking about. What is the Tao? The Tao was an organization that was designed to be automated and decentralized. And that's exactly what Mantra Tao is. It's a decentralized platform, a kind of one-stop shop for staking, lending, and governance. So they're doing a lot of things that a lot of other people are already offering, but they're putting it all in one place. So really what they're doing is creating a user experience. And their success or failure will depend on how good the user experience is that they offer. The key features that Mantra DAO are going to offer, one, staking, and that one they've already launched, it's already working, I've been using it, it works really well. Then lending, governance, borrow, karma, and mantra pool, and I'll walk you through what all of these things mean. But first, let's have a quick look at the OM token and its price. So this is really why I wanted to talk about Mantra DAO today because I think it is very undervalued right now at the current price. It has taken a beating over the last couple of weeks, as have a lot of great altcoin projects. So the OM token launched this summer. It's a fairly new token. It had a lot of hype when it came out. It launched at around 40 cents. It peaked up at 56 cents. And then from there, it has been a slow and brutal decline all the way down now today to just over nine cents. That gives it a market cap of just over $10 million. This is the range for alts that I love. If I like a project and I see it in that $10 million cap range, that is a perfect target for me. But it's a huge risk, obviously, like any of these projects. They're just startups, essentially. So you're investing in the idea that this startup could beat out thousands of other startups. And I'm gonna walk you through why I believe at this price, Mantra DAO could be great investment. Before I go any further, I got to remind you, this is not financial advice. Warning, CryptoWise is not financial advice. I repeat, CryptoWise is not financial advice. Okay, now let's move on. Now, okay, so now when I talk about crypto and altcoins, especially with my friends who are in traditional finance, they all think that investing in crypto is just like gambling, just like one of my favorite movies, Owning Mahoney with the great late Philip Seymour Hoffman. How much do we miss Philip Seymour Hoffman, am I right? But crypto investing does not need to be pure gambling. Yes, there's a lot of risk, but what Uncle Milty looks for when he's looking at alt projects are a few things. Team, technology, tokenomics, and community. 
And within community, I look at marketing, I look at the brand, I look at the user experience, and I look at customer service. So if you want to get inside of Milty's mind while he's looking at altcoins, these are the things that I am thinking about. So let's go through these things when it comes to Mantra DAO. Okay, first let's have a quick look at their team. And really the Mantra DAO project right now, the face of the project has been John Patrick Mullen. What I like about John Patrick Mullen is he's really put himself out there in the public. Unlike the creators of some of the other DeFi projects out there or crypto projects, I've reached out to him a few times on Telegram, asked him a few questions, and he's always gotten back to me. Sometimes it takes him a little while, but he always gets back to me. And for me, that goes a long way. I like to see a team that is out front, that is public. If the team is anonymous or faceless or won't interact with their community, I do not like it. I will not invest. You can look over his LinkedIn profile. He's got all his past experience there. He's got a few things. I've looked into a few of them. They are legit. That is one of the other things about crypto. You got to be careful. Don't take things at face value. Always do your own research and look into things. Now, can this team pull it off? Honestly, I don't really know. They seem smart. They seem passionate. But above all, these guys are hustlers. And I mean that in the best sense of the word. There's a type that you find in crypto of these startup entrepreneurs. And yes, they need to be smart. But two, they need to have almost endless energy. The crypto space moves at such a fast pace. It's so competitive that you want to see the team out there moving quick and fast. And these guys have been doing that. I've been keeping my eye on them and they have been moving at lightning speed since the OM token was launched. The other interesting thing about the Mantra Dow team is some of their advisors. It includes Calvin Ning from Plutus VC and Jamie Cheng from Rio Difa. And what's really interesting to me is how interconnected some of these companies are. Specifically when it comes to Mantra Dow, there is a huge connection between Rio DeFi, Rio Chain, Polka Starter, and Mantra Dow. Okay, Calvin Ning is the president co-founder of Rio DeFi, essentially Rio Chain. And on their advisor list is yes, Will Corkin, John Patrick Mullen, and again, Jamie Chang. And if you go into the Poker Starter website, you'll see in their founders and advisor list, right there, John Patrick Mullen. So this guy is heavily involved in some of the premier DeFi projects that are launching on Polkadot. For such a small project, the teams are never gonna be fully proven teams. What you're doing is you're taking a risk on the team in the same way that you're taking a risk on the project. So let's talk a bit more about the project itself. I also like to take a look at the roadmap that the project has put out there. And if you look at quarter three of 2020, they still have some stuff to do but they have launched their staking platform, which is huge, and they completed their initial membership offering. Now there was actually a really good AMA with John Patrick Mullen on the Rio DeFi Medium page. And this article was from July 14th and it answered a lot of the questions I had about the project. So let's quickly go through some of the key points that John Patrick Mullen talked about in this AMA. Now, a lot of these DeFi projects, a lot of these crypto projects love throwing out all these words staking, lending, borrowing, platform, community, decentralized. But what does it actually mean? Sometimes it's hard to figure out what these projects actually are. I thought the answer to this question was illuminating in that he compares what he hopes Mantra Dow can be to some projects that are already out there. So how do we compare to other projects out there? Mantra Dow is basically a community governed DeFi platform. We provide high interest saving rates through staking as a service, similar to projects like Stakefish, Figment Networks, Pool X, Binance, and others. Since we're powered by Rio Chain, a substrate based blockchain, we'll be able to fully interact with the Polkadot network, allowing us to support assets and smart contracts across many blockchains. We offer savings, lending, stable coins, and governance tokens like MakerDAO, Compound, Akala, and Kava. With Compound having a market cap in the billions of dollars and MakerDAO being above 500 million, all while only interacting with Ethereum-based assets, we believe Mantra DAO can achieve a similar market cap within just a few years. So this is a big point for me. Obviously, look, any project is going to say that the potential for their market cap is going to be X. But I do agree with the team at Mantra DAO. If they succeed, and it's a big if, but if they can, the comparable projects out there and their competitors have market caps that are way bigger than Mantra DAO. I walked you through it already. Their market cap right now is at $10 million. So let's say that they don't get to 500. Let's say that they only get to 100 million. And I think their potential is much greater than that. But even at 100 million, you're looking at a 10x from here. It's already gone over 50 cents. We've seen it over 50 cents. 
So at nine cents right now, that's why I think this is a project that needs to be on your radar and you need to seriously consider it. And di additionally, we have a built-in reputation mechanism called the Karma Protocol, whereby users who do things that benefit the community, they can earn karma. And when they have enhanced karma, they will have extra financial incentives, such as enhanced interest rates and lower borrowing rates. Now, when I first heard of the karma aspect of MantraDAO, I wasn't really sold on it. It felt a bit like a gimmick. But the more I thought about the karma aspect of this, where I really liked it was in lending. And so I was curious how that was going to work. And in this AMA, it answers some of the questions. He says, so essentially, we will be creating a decentralized lending protocol backed by crypto assets for users to borrow stable coins against their crypto without having to sell the underlying asset. Now, a lot of people are doing this in, in terms of a centralized company doing this. I think Celsius is doing a great job right now. But how it would work in MantraDAO, he says, currently our system is to over collateralize as the crypto collateral can be highly volatile. So this is a problem that a lot of these lending platforms have is how much collateral do you have to take to lend people money? So what I think is interesting about Karma and where it comes in here is he says, but with our Karma protocol, which is similar to a credit score, we will possibly be able to under collateralize our loans for our highest Karma level users. And I really like this aspect of it. It does create like with traditional banking where you can build up credit within an ecosystem. And I like that. If you can build up credit, would you be able to borrow for less? If they're able to pull this off, I think that could be a key element on their platform. Okay, so in terms of technology with Mantra DAO, really the key point is that they're building on the Rio chain. So it's less about technology with Mantra DAO. They're really relying on two other companies to provide the technology that they need. And I love the companies they've chosen. First Rio chain, but more importantly, Polkadot. I won't get into too much detail here about Rio DeFi and RFuel and Rio chain. I'll probably make another video about that coming up soon. But just to say, MantraDAO is being built on Rio DeFi, which is Rio Chain. Their aim is to become a pair chain on the Polkadot network once the Web3 Foundation begins the pair chain auction later this year. Now, I just want to flag this, this idea of pair chains on the Polkadot network. One of my upcoming videos is going to be all about this because this is huge, guys. You need to understand about Polkadot and their pair chain auctions that are going to be coming up later this year. It's going to be a game changer and I'm going to do a video all about it. But safe to say, I really love Rio DeFi's technology and I love, 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 love polka dots. All right. So there's so much more I could talk about about Mantra Dow. There's a lot to talk about about this project, but this video is getting long and I do not want you guys falling asleep on Uncle Milty. So let's skip ahead. Let's have a look at the app that is functional right now. So if you go to the Mantra Dow website right now and click here at the app, it takes you to their functional desktop app now. It's not available for mobile yet. But as I said, the only real working function on the app right now is the staking function but it's a pretty great staking function so far. I've been using it now for a few weeks and it works great. Right now, they are offering three different products that you can stake on this app. One, of course, the OM MantraDAO token, also RFuel, which is the token for Rio DeFi. And if you provide liquidity for OM on Uniswap, you can also use those LP tokens here to get extra staking rewards. The staking rewards right now for MantraDAO are pretty great. They're 88.88%. .88 and for our fuel, they're 50%. Now, if you are interested in buying OM right now, I definitely highly recommend that you stake them on the MantraDAO platform. It works great. And obviously this will be where they launch their upcoming products, their lending platform, their borrowing platform, the governance platform, the Karma, which we talked about, and also the Mantra Pool. So the Mantra Pool aspect we didn't talk about, I'll just quickly let you know. It's kind of an interesting idea. Essentially, it's a lottery. Every so often, they're going to package a bunch of cryptos, kind of like a like a Christmas stocking of cryptos, and you can buy a ticket to try to win it. You basically, buy the ticket with OM, and all the OM that is used to buy tickets to the mantra pool get burnt. Well, that's a way they're going to try to create scarcity for the OM token. It's an interesting idea, so you never know. It might work. At the very least, I like that they're getting creative. So these are the products that are available now for staking. But Mantra Dow actually put out a new article today. This just came out today. They're very good at communicating. They do put a lot of articles out. 
They announce a ton of partnerships. One of the other things you should do when you're researching a project, if you're thinking of buying it, follow them on their social platforms. Obviously, you get a real sense of how active they are. And Mantra Dow is certainly active on all their channels, which I like. But in today's article, which I thought was interesting, they talked a lot about their staking platform. And if you look at the photos they show in the article, you can see that they have Dot and Kusama there. Again, Polkadot and Kusama, both are not available yet on their staking platform. But I found it very interesting that both were included here in this article, which makes me think that both might be available soon to stake on Mantra Dow, which would be amazing. I know what you guys are saying out there, Milton, 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 just tell us, are you buying Mantra Dow or not? Well, well, the question really is, do I think Mantra Dow is more like this guy or this guy? Hmm. Definitely more Gandhi than Bikram, thankfully. I never lie to you guys. I always give you the unvarnished truth. And the unvarnished truth in this case was I did buy a bag of Mantra Dow around 30 cents. I believe I bought it right on this dip here at about 25, 26 cents. And I thought I was getting a steal. And then obviously it has been going down and down and down and down. But yes, I am buying more bags of Mantra Dow in this price range. And look guys, it's a huge risk. There is so much competition out there for this project. There are so many other platforms that do what they do. But so far, I've really liked what I've seen. And I think at a $10 million market cap, for all you people who love to try to hit that home run, that alt moonshot, this is one of those cases. I'm willing to take the risk on this project because I think the upside is worth it. And so that's Uncle Milty's take on Mantra Dow. As always, we wanna know from you. What do you think about Mantra Dow? Which crypto wisers out there own it already? Which of you are thinking of buying it? Which of you hate the project? Tell us, tell us why. We love when the crypto wisers leave comments on our YouTube channel. We always reply. So please let's start a conversation. I wanna know what you think of Mantra Dow. And of course, give us feedback on the videos. We're gonna keep tweaking. We're a brand new channel. So we're gonna keep improving as you guys give us feedback. Let us know what topics do you want us to cover? What do you like about our videos? What don't you like so far? We're doing this for you guys, so please give us some feedback. Reach out on Twitter, give us a follow, and of course, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. That's it for today's episode. I'm Milton saying over and out. Thanks for watching CryptoWise. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.